Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to part of the dungeon you hardly ever see because it's usually a complete mess. But I've been cleaning down here, trying to make things look a lot better. I got all my Reba stuff over here and my lights. Got my RCF stuff over here. And the studio that you normally see is over there somewhere. Anyway, a little follow-up video on what I started yesterday. I was talking about some speakers I could handle so I could do solo gigs. Thanks for all your all of your input. I've been reading all of your uh, suggestions, looking them up. A lot of the stuff you guys are suggesting is still pretty heavy for me. I've got 12 inch speakers over here, powered speakers, right around 40 pounds each, way too much weight for me. I'm thinking 30 is even too much. I'm thinking closer to 20. But I wanted to give you guys a little better perspective of what I've got as far as movement goes. I think a lot of you people think that, oh well, his arm screwed up, but you know, the rest of them, you know, it's pretty good. Well, not the case. My leg's still screwed up, so a lot of it's a balance issue too. But I got a speaker stand here by Frankenstein that works really well. I want to show you how I can handle it. Real easy to set up. Look at that. That's perfect. Tighten her down just a little bit. And I got a speaker stand. No problem. Now the challenge is to get a speaker on top of here. Let's see how that works out. See, this guy is a little too heavy for me to handle. We're going to try it. I'm going to put a lot of effort into this, but as you can see, I'm not walking very well. My leg, I don't have a lot in my, this leg. My ankle's kind of screwed up, but uh, here, check this out. Let's see what we can do. It's about as high as I'm able to go. It's a lot of weight. Try a different approach. Grab it from the side. Oh, man. As you can see, I got it up there. Sure wasn't easy though. I still don't have it in the hole yet. <clears throat> See how far away I am from that hole. And we're getting closer. I mounted it. It wasn't easy, but I was able to do it. But if the speaker was half that weight, like I said, around 20 pounds, I think it would work out real well. Now these are RCF 722As very loud 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 speakers for big venues i'm looking at the rcf 708a which is a little eight inch speaker but the frankenstands are cool i'm huffing and puffing in the respect that they're pneumatic they're not really hydraulic they're pneumatic because they got a shock absorber in here hydraulics water pneumatic is gas so if i unscrew this I can't go up very high because my ceilings are real low down here. But as you can see, the speaker goes up. Now these speaker stands are supposed to be for a much hev a much heavier speaker. It's supposed to be easy up, easy down, but right now it's just easy up. The down bit's a little tough. So I gotta order different stands from Franken stand to make the easy up, easy down option happen for me. Not exactly easy down, but I got it down. So Frankenstands are definitely my solution for the stands to get the speakers up in the air. But yeah, still huffing and puffing over getting that 40 pound speaker up there. As you can see, I struggle with it, but you know, we made it happen. Again, 20 pounds is probably more like it if we're gonna go with a setup like this. Otherwise, there's some HK stuff I'm gonna look at while at Vanessa. Or alternately, I might go ahead and look at those bows. Those L1s, those L1 compacts, pretty nice. A lot of money though, $2,000 for a set. But it's an option. So there you go, quick video, practice and enjoy.